So friends, I saw this man out on the side of the road under a bridge painting all these things and thought I would stop and talk to him. I'm not doing this for you to make political statements or to get upset. Whether you like what's happening here or don't like what's happening here is irrelevant. I'm simply telling a story. That doesn't mean that I'm for this or against this. I'm just letting Mr. English tell his story. Thank you for watching and watch with an open mind. Give your truck. Negro baseball. Negro baseball is back. The Tampa Bay Black Sox play anybody, beat anybody, all y'all. And what is your name, sir? My name is Thomas English. Thomas English. Thomas English. Uh, also known as Mr. English. Mr. English. Coach English. And Bush Gumbo Shelby, I'm known as Coach. <laughs> that's right. And that's why I have so many hooligans calling me daddy. Yes, sir. Thousands of kids call me daddy. So you helped them with football. You were a football coach. I'm baseball. I'm baseball. Pro baseball. Oh, that's right. So because of baseball, when we were kids, coach. you threw me off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. did you paint all of these? Yeah. All these. All those. Uh, uh, um, if you give me one, take a shot of the. Uh, you see Cohen Kaepernick, right? Yes. That's where it all began. So that was the first one. That was the first one. Then me on Taylor. Then people asked, well, what about Trump? What about Joe Biden, Vice President Joe Biden? And I'm pushing it down to love calling him President Joe Biden. Yes, sir. Which led him to these other guys, Muhammad Ali, uh, uh, taking the knee. Because he's been taking the knee. From yes. Violence, you see. The mayor, the governor, Moses, Malcolm X, Mitt Romney, even the extraterrestrials. Yeah, I see so that. Landed <laughs> across the street. You got, you got Moses, Moses Romney, Alex Malcolm Moore, X. I'm trying, to get a, I'm trying to get some photos of uh, Robin Roberts, from yeah. ABC. I can't think of the ones right now because there's so many going to your head. Yeah, I understand that. Questing for that's George Floyd, a bird taking the knee. We got Jackie Robinson. We got Abraham Lincoln. Uh, uh, What's her name? Uh, Tamika Marley. Mm -hmm. Hit the Black Lives Matter. We got the uh, Reverend James Elliott from the descendants of African of American slaves. Mm -hmm. Statue of Liberty. I'm working on Obama. I, I got the Obamas, but I'm going to work on their face some more. You know how the, the scopes, you got to come back and take that hammer and chisel. Yeah, chisel, just chisel, chisel a little chisel, bit more. Chisel a little bit more. So I saw you starting on one down here with some yellow paint. Who is that going to be? Vietnam veteran. Okay. An artist. I'm putting him on there because people come by. Want to be a part of it. And so you're going up on the high up now with the ladder. You see, that's the 19, I believe that's the 1967. We're the uh, uh, Summer Olympic guys. Yeah. Summer Olympics, 1967. When they held their fist up, that was right. the, kind of the beginning of right. it. Yeah. Right. Next to him was the lady that just left. It was the grandmother of the lady that just left. Really? Uh huh. Uh, uh, she got to bring her, her mom, her mama back up next to dude. That'd be Rosa Potts next to him. Tamira Rice. Okay, so this will be Rosa and then Tamira there. Last Tamira there. We got more going up. This is lady here. She left for about an hour ago. Pocahontas. Real Indian from Blackfoot tribe. Right? Okay. She wants to be on here. What if you get an store owner to come here and they, and, and they speak, they say take a knee in their, excuse me, in their own language. Yes. That way when other people come by, they see that he's taking a knee in American and Arabic. Yes. Yeah, particular Arabic language. Yes. That's how universal I am. Yeah. You know, multiracial I am. Multi and I see I am. that you say it says a curse to anyone yes. that disturbs this artwork. the and artwork this and the spirit of these people. May your arms fall off. That That's is right. interesting. The reason why <laughs> is because it's the true story about Mount Kilimanjaro. Okay. Right. You've heard of Mount Kilimanjaro yeah, of course, in Africa. Yeah. I was watching PBS one night. And uh, uh, they told the story about the mountain killed the Jaro, how there are silver up in that up in that mountain. Yeah. And miners would go up up and down up to the mine to try to dig that the silver out. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And the uh, 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 they would perish when they go up there. Mm -hmm. True story. One particular mining company kept sending troops up there, up there, up there. They all perished too. They sent some over anyway. This time when they finally got their hands on the silver. Their arms fell off. Oh, wow. Yeah, fell off the body. Wow. And they sent one person, one survived all that horror to let everybody know, don't go up there. Don't go mess with it. <laughs> I haven't heard it. that story. Yeah, That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. 
And see, what, the reason why I did that was because, uh, what's your, see, where's the, see, uh, 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 Dick Gregory? Yeah. See those two, see that spot next to Lester Holt? Yes. You see that spot next to Dick Gregory? Yes. Those are paintballs. It's a paintball driver. Right? Oh, really? Yeah. So, so oh, so while you were working, they, they, so paintball was here? Right there. And a paintball there. So yeah, somebody right actually came by and shot you. Yeah, I'm painting Dick Gregory here. <laughs> Who was it? Somebody in the black car. Okay, so you That's didn't get a look at it. That's all I know. So only I can do is uh, uh, send out a curse. Yeah. You come out here late night, nobody's watching. Yeah. You want to come back to your paint balls and your paint get you over it, and your arms fall off. I understand that. Because I can't handle security out here. Yeah. You know? But you have the right to, to say this. I this is your it. right, and yeah. you're going to say yeah, it. Yeah. I said it. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate you. They gave yeah. To show you how this I, will be, I know the arms didn't fall off, but now this happened last Thursday. Uh, a week later, a guy told me that some guys with a paint, some paintballs got shot. I don't know who those guys. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Some guys with a yeah. paintball gun. A couple of their paintball gun out, and somebody thought it was a real gun and shot them. Bam, yeah. bam. Well, I don't believe in karma, but I do believe in the law of reciprocity. I'll take you that know, the things that the you law. do come back to you. That's right. That's why I don't. That's right. <laughs> keep myself yeah, clean. I, understand. <laughs> <laughs> I want to twinkle like Mr. Clean Shine. That's right. <laughs> yes, yeah. That's cool. So, you know, like that, because you got to go follow through with it. Too many people come, but too many people are not happy behind this. Do you have a website or anything? Uh, www.negrobaseballisback.com. Dot com. Okay. Look at it. Look at it, please. You'll okay. see where you heard of Buck O'Neill. Yeah. He passed the program. Let me show you something. Okay. Hold on. Uh, wait. Yeah. See Bubba Wallace's car taking the lead? Yeah. And uh, the uh, DL, yeah. It takes a lot of paint to make this happen. With uh, I know uh, Billy Matthews, an old local artist, mm -hmm. and Billy Matthews at Muhammad Ali's day, Cassius Clay Sr. So I've been doing this 40 years. This is down in St. Pete when they had two riots down there. Mm -hmm. You see, I paint inspirational murals. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Welcome to Enoch Davidson. This is a community center here. This is a 150 foot wall. Wow. You see? And doing the, so you've painted a lot of these. Yeah. It's yeah. really beautiful. See this here? This is a, a long bicycle. Yeah, that's a big tandem back in Everybody rides. It's more than a I like that. This yeah. is called the equation. Martin Luther King, I have a dream, plus Malcolm X, by any means necessary, equals Barack Obama. Yes, we can. Okay. You see? This here, Buck O'Neill. This is where he passed the torch to me to bring back Negro baseball. This kid was, was an angel. Because he painted Willie Mays, uh, Hank Aaron back there, Ernie Banks, where is Ernie Banks? You see? This is out in St. Petersburg, Florida. And I never played it. And he passed the torch to me. You see, these here are some of the Negro baseball players back in the 1800s. Mm -hmm. Any of his clowns, they had a glove that big. These are all clown teams. This is the Zulus out of Louisville, Kentucky. Mm -hmm. As they caught my attention. Because a little black boy named Rodney King. What? Rodney King. Rodney Green. Not Rodney, Rodney King. Green. Rodney right. Green. Wanted to be uh, Jackie Robinson from the Black History Celebration. Okay. And I dressed him up as great black history makers. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, when I did research on Jackie Robinson, I discovered a whole new variety of Jackie Robinson's. Mm -hmm. I'm trying history. to get light in your face so oh. I can see you. And as long as back over there for this here, well, like I said, I went to tell the story about the history of African American baseball through mm -hmm. a series of hand painted wall murals on different buildings. Mm -hmm. We created a tourist attraction. It was there for a minute, a minute and a half. And uh, here, this is in Louisville, 2003. Okay. Up there in uh, Clarksdale, mm -hmm. housing projects. Mm -hmm. They didn't want them kids to play up there. Mm -hmm. You can kill each other. Yeah, but you, you know, can't play you baseball. You can't play baseball. Yeah. You, can, you can murder each other. Do your dope deals, shootouts, do all that violence in the park, but you can't play. 
We yeah. played anyway. This is sports is an important part of, yeah. uh, especially yeah. young men. You see, and then, there's no, and then there's no men out here. No men adults. There's yeah. plenty of males, yeah. but no men. Yeah. Because they just, that's what I say. That's why they come, when I say I'm going to coach, yeah. they show up for yeah. it. Yeah. You're not actually big to a butthole, but verbally speaking, they come to you and yell that. I tell one bad kid, get your ass down from there. I'll dug out a bunch of kids over here and say, yes, daddy. Yeah. Because there's a chance to say yes, yeah. daddy. Yeah, chance to be a good need, kid. We need structure yeah. as people. Right, yeah. right, right. And there's All of fun, us need structure. Wobbly, shaky, the ground shaking. And uh, uh, so this is, this is, and this here goes back to 1998. Wow, that's been a because, while. Like I said, in the city, of, doing two riots down there. And the city of St. Petersburg paid me, every five years they would pay me to repaint the same painting. Hmm. Every five years, every five years. To keep it, the tension Keep back. it, keep it you beautiful. See? If you can't see this little dot right there. Yeah. I did like that. This is in 1998. Wow. This guy here has a hood, wearing a hood. Mm-hmm. Uh, last, uh, like five, about four, four years ago, during that Trayvon Martin, mm -hmm. everybody, and the, the, you remember the hoodie thing was yeah. out. Everybody thought that, that guy was Trayvon Martin. Because when I repainted this, same characters, with the guy with the hood on, they thought it was Trayvon Martin. And give honor to that particular character. Mm -hmm. And they pulled me, the, because this is a, most, this is a, I think this is on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. I took this photo, because there's no cars here. But then the other day, Pat, Pat right. each one would stop and get out and look at that guy with the hood on. Get back in the car and then park. Our park and then go over to the guy and give honor to that guy wearing the hood. Mm -hmm. Because, like I said, the Trevor Martin thing. Mm -hmm. But, like I said, this is the, I, that's what I do paint inspirational, uh, uh, motivational, educational wall murals. Well, you so do I, a great job. I do that. communicate. Like I said, I learned from Muhammad Ali's daddy and Billy Matthews. Uh, at that time, when I was a kid, I was riding my mom somewhere and I was seeing these two guys. Paint this big picture on this big wall in this big building. Mm -hmm. And at that time, I said, wow, we, I never do nothing like that. 30 years later, I wound up repainting that big picture on this big wall, this big building. Really? Uh, which is a nightclub called the Polynesian Palace. You see, that was, uh, I think they tore it down now. Uh, the people told me that. It used to be on 25th and Oak. But, uh, uh, so that's why I do what I do. And people love it. And it motivates me to keep doing it. You know, and this is what I'm doing now. And a lot of people come through here, uh, they're happy. It generates a happiness, mm -hmm. you know, joy, closure. You know, and now they come in requesting, mm -hmm. you know, for certain people to be up here. It's like the old lady, she want her son up there, mm -hmm. you see. Uh, 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 some more people are going to bring their children back by mm -hmm. and ask for their child to be up there. That's see? cool stuff. So, you know, I just, if it's a mistake, if there's plenty of space, I'll go ahead and put it on her. Yeah. You know, while well, I got my knees. <laughs> yeah, my I knees understand strong, that. Now, is that your helper over there? Uh, yes, that's Miss Johnson. She's an agent. You know, what it is in her case, she painted Martin Luther King up there uh, about 15 years ago. And uh, so, why don't you see whatever those between the grooves there? Mm -hmm. uh, where, uh, another lady they put their dragon. They're supposed to be a dragon. But anyway, uh, graffiti came up there, all that graffiti mess. Mm -hmm. Covered it all Covered up. Covered it up, messed it up. And another guy I talked to him about a week ago, he said he went on paint over everything. So since you see me out here doing this, uh, it gives her closure in that paint, in, in her artwork. So I said, well, go ahead and put your artwork back up there. Now she's got Martin McLean, uh, Jackson, uh, Michael Jackson, Michael uh, Jackson. She's going to work on friends. Uh, 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 uh. Tomorrow is down. I said, go ahead. And once I uh, put these particular pieces up there, I'm going to have silhouettes of children out here. In between them. In between them. Mm -hmm. Holding up uh, 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 signs. Mm -hmm. Because nobody relates to children. Nobody. Mm -hmm. and, they, and, and, they and they're the ones that are getting hurt by this right. more than they anybody. Just, so long, the parents are preparing for Go to get get killed. Mm -hmm. That's the mindset of the mm -hmm. you know what I'm And like I say, uh, when I come along, you know, they've never seen a guy like me before. Mm -hmm. They either think you're a child molester, but not one child. You say they can't figure it out. Why is he with all them kids? You mm -hmm. say, why is he with them little bitty kids? You know, why is he with all them boys? Mm -hmm. Why is he with all them girls? Mm -hmm. You say, my best pictures are girls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know if it's the fingernails or the fingers or just, you know, I reached each and reach each. Because so I'm that's used how to that. Change children's lives, I'm used though. to that, see? You like get them in young. 30 years, yeah. you start out down in Southwick, you know, the last days of the Southwick housing projects. 
you know, I'm a TV producer, uh, and I was trying to find ways to produce my shows without spending two, one and two and three and four hundred dollars an hour. Mm-hmm. You see, a friend of mine was charging um, one hundred one hundred dollars an hour, mm-hmm. so I had to learn from from the, from the engineers. What's this? What's this? What's that? What's that? And then trying to teach the children to be the camera operator, the lighting director. Know about sound. What we show the type of microphone we need mm-hmm. for this camera shot. Mm-hmm. You see, and uh, they got it Hollywood in the hood. <laughs> so <laughs> hope I give me some Don Cornelius. You see That's what I'm saying? Cool stuff. Uh, uh, one of y'all, y'all gotta get rich here now. Coaching is a bro. You see, <laughs> so I'm waiting. I'm waiting. And see, I was down in Atlanta doing the Temple of the Olympics, right? Mm-hmm. And I was at the Whitehead Boys and Girls Club, and uh, this one kid wanted me. Oh, he started out hat turned sideways because I let to work the camera. Be a TV producer on your own. And uh, he brought his homeboys with him. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He was interviewing his homeboys. And all of them had the hat turned sideways and baggy pants and booty hanging out. And, you know, one leg up, one leg down. But once he saw himself on the TV set, he wanted to be a journalist. Mm-hmm. A journalist like Bernard Shaw. And, I, and he asked me, how do I make contact with him? So I can ask him, again, does he need a help or anything? And I gave him a dollar. Told him to get a, a stamp in an envelope and write a letter to him. Uh, that was around mid-August of 1996. I went to St. Pete to set up there, and then uh, I kept contact with him. He said that he, Bernard, I called his coordinator, and his coordinator said that he and Bernard Shaw keep missing each other. Phone tag, if you will. I hate that word, but they still was missing mm-hmm. each other. Because Bernard Shaw would be in, he'd get his uh, Quentin Huntley's message, and Quentin Huntley wouldn't be in, or... Uh, Quentin Hunter would come in, Bernard Shaw would be in. So I don't know if they ever met him. I just have to wait to see him on TV as a news reporter. Mm-hmm. So when I say, when he said, if I hear him say, Quentin Huntley, you know, so-and-so knew, that's him right there. Yeah, that'll be <laughs> that's cool. one of my troops, one of my soldiers. Yeah. But like any coach, yeah. you know, with anybody that teaches, they love you know, to see what, they're, they're, uh, what they've done for their child in the future. Yeah. And right now I'm going through a continuous grown folk harvest, a harvest of young meeting young grown folk that remember me, but I don't remember that. Mm-hmm. It's a, cause this Mr. and Mrs. Is, woman come up, want to give, shake your hand, give you a hug and a kiss in front of her husband or boyfriend. And they know it's a friendly kiss, mm-hmm. you know? And uh, I said, I don't know these people. Why they have to go back 10, 15, 20 years ago, 25 years ago, when there was a Mr. and Mrs. Is, with little Antoine's and Pookies and Laquitas mm-hmm. running around. It's saying they remember you. Mm-hmm. It's saying that's why I stay on my straight, narrow path, if you will, keep doing what I do because they keep coming to you. That's you know, right. So you meet the harvest. So hopefully somebody get rich. Somebody become a multimillionaire. <laughs> Coach Higgins is broke. That's it. You know, and I just you know, just wait. And you know, like this one preacher said, all you can do is plant the seed. That's right. Throw the seeds out there, plant them in the ground, and let God handle it. Let God because handle the Because he has to deal with the diseases, birds pecking at it, bugs, etc., mm-hmm. etc. Cetera, et cetera, to that seed. To give that seed strength to become fruitful and multiply. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's, that's the only I can do. Mm-hmm. And I know the meaning of that because the reason why I'm being successful with baseball, something I never played before. Uh, when Buck O'Neill passed it over to me to remind me of baseball, I never played before, but he's seen all them kids with nothing else to do but climb up on things and quit stop, don't do that, get chance to have breakfast over here. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, because of the seed that was implanted in me back in high school when I was cutting class. Mm-hmm. Uh, the truant officer caught me cutting class, me and Terry Johnson. And he gave us an ultimatum to either go to the principal's office and they're waiting for you, Thomas English, or I catch 15 of my baseballs. I'm not going to the principal's office. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'd rather jump out the second floor window, but look what they got to shut the window shut. They have the window shut. So I had to catch them 15 baseballs, but I thought he was going to toss it to you and talk to you. He said, get down and hold the glove up. And he was firing the hole. Firing the hole. It felt like 15 sticks of dynamite. Because you, all you can do is hear the hiss and the pile and the explosion in your hand. You see, we want, when he finished, and see, the, the key word was hold that glove up. Hold the glove up or go to the principal's office. You can't drop the glove. And I used that nightmare in my coaching. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you see, I still, I have to quote Officer Brown's word, because in those days they called him Officer Brown. Don't mess around with Officer Brown. <laughs> and we didn't mess around with Officer Brown. And I have to use those words, hold the glove up, son. So it's a continuous reminder of that nightmare, mm-hmm. when it was an educational nightmare. And that's because of no men, once again. The old Negroes don't give a damn about the young black boy. That's what makes it so terrible. Because I grew up wanting to be a brother, soul brother. And it was my chance. Because I was used to live right down the street from the 68 riots, 28th and Because that was like a thriving community. Mm-hmm. Two banks, 
uh, elementary junior high school, uh, uh, jewelry store, A and P, library, Firestone, all in that little area. And uh, 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 the day that I was going to be a brother, once they once they uh, make your young good, slap you around a little bit. Says, hey, sh- sh- sh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Get out of here, go on, brother. And I'm going down there. I went home to tell my mom I'm going to be a brother. On the TV set, this is an NBC News special report. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. has been shot. He was shot by uh, everything changed. Yeah. You see, uh, my mom was crying. You can see and hear all the mamas crying. Grown men crying, uh, throwing stuff. You can just see the energy, the negative anger in the air. Mama grabbed us all, put us back inside, locked the door, barricaded the door. Yeah, be quiet. You see, mm-hmm. two days later we come out. You know, two days another riot. Mm-hmm. Sour police sirens, people screaming, shots fired, sudden, 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 sudden. And when we finally Which come, MLK was completely against. Right, yeah. right. But you know, when you're pissed off, that's why you have riots. Yeah. You had enough of this, damn it. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So you don't give a shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, you don't give a damn. Yeah. You know. And 28th, do you know where you've been to 28th unit? I haven't. Oh well, it's okay now. But 20, but back in 1968, it looked like 9/11. Mm-hmm. Nothing but burnt rubble. with our really? old footage from all the Berlin, Germany. Nothing but burnt bricks and rubble. Wow. And it stayed there with like 25 years until uh, uh, my first sponsor here, Dr. John Mason, DMD, uh, started refurbishing that area, which was great, you know. So uh, I still have that leadership in me, you know, and that's why I do what I do, you know, from the spirit of leadership, you know, my mom, which was a, a, a go get her and do things for damn self. Mm-hmm. Type of person, just like she reminds me of my mom. Mm-hmm. You see, she you now she don't see no cop. You see that guy there? Mm-hmm. She bring all the way down the street. <laughs> yeah. For the past, I think two, I think for the past two weeks, maybe three weeks. Oh, she's she tenacious. Down, tenacious. Climb up there, and I think she said she's sixty-six years old. Wow. Climb up there. You see all that she did up there. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, wait, get up there and up there. Yeah. Have you talked to her? I haven't. Okay. It'd be great if you talked to her. Certainly. Her yeah, certainly. She's like, like a mother. She runs with my mom. She's a go 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 doer. Your damn self. Mm-hmm. And uh, 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 like I said, she seen me out here. She was out here years ago because people come back here and do things. So this, mm-hmm. uh, uh, people send out messages all the time. Mm-hmm. That's why I went around that artwork. And that message next between Colin Kaepernick and the mayor Fisher, mm-hmm. whatever they say, stay together, so whatever it is, whatever it is, it's a message it's mm-hmm. like this here. I didn't want to disturb that. Yeah. So I went on both sides and went around. And people love all of this. Like I said, if you set up a camera and just record stuff, you'll see people coming up, pulling up, shaking your hand, thanking mm-hmm. you, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 give you a couple bucks, mm-hmm. keep it going, mm-hmm. show the happiness. And uh, one, uh, uh, this one lady come out a little while ago. She wants me to put a speck of statement. West End, the West End is, is dirty, a trash. I gotta just get it down. Uh, she wants to ask me to paint on the mural, paint a mural of some trash everywhere. Mm-hmm. Make a statement. Clean up West Fulton. There's so much trash everywhere. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna clean up this out here once I get the chance. Uh, whoever it was, I don't know if it's the people or it may have been the, 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 the city. Uh, that grass down there was like three and a half feet tall. Mm-hmm. At least this feet high. Mm-hmm. And they just gave, hey, they just cut it about a week ago. Mm-hmm. Even though it's trash, you know, all the they cut it back to the next side. So, uh, so when, I, when I'm finished, I'll come out here and clean up all this, uh, uh, cut the grass, uh, get these spots off the way, except for this here. This city stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you see those lines over there, that mm-hmm. yellow, see that's, I guess that's the mm-hmm. work line. We're all right here, right here. Mm-hmm. You know, all this here, I'll keep that here. As far as the spots that I made, the mess that I made, yeah, you know, the, the drips of paint that's down here. And like I said, people come by here, they just love it. You know, just, they have closure. You know, what can we do? Mm-hmm. So I said, well, bring some kids with you. Uh, mm-hmm. See, a lot of people don't, don't reach out to you. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's been the problem. So the only thing I can do is do what I've been doing for 30 years. Mm-hmm. Out on the street. Out, because really, uh, I've got the, 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 depending on the youth coordinator, the youth coordinator is the inner city child's worst enemy. Because mm-hmm. he's supposed to come here to get off the streets. 
down to St. Pete, they want to charge you mm -hmm. $45 just to come in the building. Hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, wow. they, they make money off of people there. If they do anybody do anything for you, they want a grand check for it. You want to get paid for it. Hmm. But like I said, all the devils, I was designed, not say designed, but I was called to be there because down there, they, ooh, man. See, that's somebody else. Mm -hmm. I don't know who that person is, but they're going to come. You can best they're coming to share their enjoyment. Mm -hmm. Or at least be a part of this. Whoever it is, you can document this if you want. Cause like I said, I get this good. all the time. All the time. Throughout well, look, the day. Thank you so much, hey. my friend. Hey, how you hey buddy, how are you? No, no. You all right? Oh, Thank you. I will do that. Bless me. Okay, well, thank you. What's your name, Joe Moe. Joe Moe. Thank you, brother. Right, Joe How much is it? Oh, it's like, okay, very good. Five dollars. There you go. See I'm saying? One dude brought all his money. It was like he did. It was a dollar and 84 cents. <laughs> mm -hmm. Every penny counts, I took right? It. Yeah, I took it. That's right. A dollar and 84 cents. But it helped me out. That's he right. He brought me some gas to get back here to continue this. That's right. And that's how it worked, you know. That's what keeps me going. People's motivation, people's happiness, you know. And, and, uh, well, I know we're pulling up. All so, day. look, I'm going to run across there and talk okay, to her. Yeah, please. Great to meet you, her my friend. Miss Johnson. Appreciate it's you, Mr. Johnson. Johnson. Her name is Mr. Oh, Johnson. Oh, her name is Mr. Oh, Johnson. Mr. I'm sorry. English. Thank you so much. That's right, Mr. English. Thank you. Send me a couple of Spa guy. Spa guy. Where will yep. that be on your YouTube? Uh, I'll keep looking for A few guy. weeks. Just look Spa guy and, and uh, weekly Spa guy. It'll be on that channel. Weekly okay. Spa guy. If you see any black baseball team together, please let me know. I will. That's how I know what's going on throughout the nation. All right. Sounds great. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. I was just talking to Mr. English. He told me to come over here and talk with you for just a moment. So you've been painting murals here for a long time. Yes, I have. And somebody covered them up. So you're back no. putting them back again. No. Martin Luther King. So you painted that years ago. I painted that. A great big old picture. I painted a great big picture mm -hmm. of Martin Luther King that was taken off her. That's a smaller version. And then this is the angel. Mahalia Jackson, and then this is uh, John, uh, Mr. Page, and this is uh, Michael Jackson, and Rock Obama, mm -hmm. Michelle Obama, and then I got a forum over across the street. Okay, so those are yours across the street. Yeah, I yeah, see yours big, right the around there. Yes. Man. That bottom one, uh, uh, his name is. Uh, uh, Jackson, you know, he uh, got out here and pop, uh, done his politician and all that. Mm -hmm. So uh, he's with Ann uh, Brady. So it's three, two of Ann Brady's up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I deal with her about 15 years ago, Ann Brady. Well, very cool. Very beautiful. Done, you've done a great job. It looks very nice. Thank you. Great to see you today. Keep on. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. God bless you. So she painted these. You can tell her work. She has a very specific style. And this is his work. Mr. English.
Mr. English inspiring the children. Thank you.